I always wanted to do uh, this for no reason. Ah, grooves. Groove is one of the coolest things about music. Groove is what makes you dance and nod your head. And a good groove is also the main initiator for the number one compliment any musician can give his peers to this face. And while deep inside we all know what's groovy and what just isn't, it's not necessarily easy to make something groove. Hello, hello, dear viewer, and welcome to this course about, well, groove. My name is Yogev Gabay. I'm a drummer and a music educator, and I've been digging deep into this topic of groove for many years, both directly and indirectly. I also have a YouTube channel called Time Consuming that deals with a bunch of cool polyrhythmic stuff. Go check it out, it's free, what do you care? Anyway, I play and have played in many, many bands. I've created and recorded many grooves for many songs over the past 20 or so years, and in this course, I'm gonna share some of the knowledge that I've acquired through my experience as a working musician. Music, as you know, infuses a lot of different elements in it that create the pieces and sum up to the finished product that we all know and love, the song. Rhythm, melody, harmony, textures, soundscapes, lyrics, all these elements and many more need to be very meticulously balanced in order to make a song just work, and that's not an easy task. More often than not, well, at least in the past, these elements were delegated between a few musicians, a band, where each player contributes their part in the songwriting process that together creates this collaborative effort that eventually gets packaged as a song. That being said, singer-songwriters, composers, producers, and multi-instrumentalists, uh, musicians who sometimes have the whole vision for a song in their head, have always been among us mortals. And nowadays, with the never-ending evolution of music technology, digital workstations, home studios, and access to the internet, the music industry has shifted to a point where music making is so accessible, practically anyone can give it a go. But that definitely doesn't make it easier. Creating a song top to bottom, a song that actually excites you and reaches you, is still a very hard thing to do. And it seems like the groove part is always a bit of a mystery for a bunch of non-drummer musicians, composers, and producers. The drums and percussion world can seem very foreign or even daunting for non-drummers or percussionists. So in this course, I'm gonna try and lay out everything I know about exactly that, how to create grooves. I'll talk about the different parts of the drum set, what groove means in different styles, what to take into consideration when creating grooves, different ways to create fresh, interesting beats, and more. And by the way, this course isn't aimed solely at non-drummers. Not at all. If you're a drummer, you'll find a bunch of tools that might help you out when thinking about composing beats or grooves to your own music, or to the music of the people around you. Okay, so before I dive into this, a short disclaimer. I'm going to talk with a lot of music jargon, and I'll be using terminology that assumes that you, the viewer, knows the basics about music theory, time, and rhythm. If that isn't the case, don't be sad. Just hop onto the Understanding Rhythm course I did, and come back right after. Okay, I think I talked enough. Let's get started. I mean, I'll still be talking, but it'll be way more relevant to the topic. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 